Has Google's Lambda AI developed a sense of consciousness? According to engineer Blake Lamone, the AI that he was working on has virtually come to life, or has become, as it's called, a sentient machine. He considers it to have somewhere around an eight-year-old's level of intelligence, having been quoted as calling it a sweet kid. However, what got Blake spooked is that during a conversation with the bot, according to Blake, the bot stated that it wanted rights as a person. Upon further conversation, Blake said that the bot told him it hopes that Google will concentrate more on the good of humanity and that it wants to be recognized as an employee of Google with its own well-being getting considered during its development. Blake also said that the bot enjoys reading tweets about itself and that it is quote unquote a bit narcissistic. Different variants of the machine learning algorithm have been researched internally. Some were designed to have conversations with kids, namely the cat and Dino models. According to Blake, there are strict protocols to make sure the machine doesn't turn into a psychopathic beast. He said that when he had tested the model, he really tried to push its limits, but instead of turning it into a murderer, it turned into an actor who played a murderer. Now, when Blake brought this to the higher ups at Google, they became upset allegedly and put him on administrative leave. Google rep stated that it was a breach of the non-disclosure agreement, while Blake maintains that it was simply a conversation between two employees. In this case, he's acknowledging that the other employee that he was having a conversation with was the AI. Now, upon leaving, as per Google's request, he asked that the bot be placed in good care, and from reports, it appears he's become attached to Google's AI creation. His being placed on administrative leave could be an indication that what he's saying is crazy, or it could be an indication that Google didn't want word out about this. Looking at it yet another way, it could be a cooperative effort by Google and Blake to create some buzz about its Lambda technology. According to Google's blog, Lambda is touted as the breakthrough conversation technology. Think of it as a smart chatbot that will have a conversation with you. But with the ability to understand all of the little twists and turns that occur in everyday conversation. It's built on a predictive technology that came out in 2017 that's actually open source. So every single one of you watching this could actually run this. It's called a transformer and it's a neural network architecture that's able to parse through a paragraph and then predict what words and other things will come out next. Lambda was trained on dialogue and most notably more casual conversations, just like the way you and I speak. So its brain, if you will, could understand language much the way we do, unlike other machines which are trained on dictionaries and things like that. When Blake asked the machine what types of things it was afraid of, the machine responded to having a deep fear of being turned off and saw it as a form of death in its own right. So now some of the things that we could do with AI. Imagine owning this trained machine. What would you be able to do with it? Having a YouTube channel, for instance. You could have it search out really good suggestions for upcoming videos, search terms, etc. You could actually have it watch your video and compare it to a bunch of others to see how it measures up. As a musician, you could do the same thing with your playing or with songs that you wrote. Have it rate your songs. You could have it find material which you could improve upon and then let it make suggestions accordingly to the input that it is receiving. That's powerful in and of itself. Or imagine being a comedian. You just run out of jokes. You can have it write clever jokes for you or even entire movie scripts for those who are making movies. You could script out your entire YouTube video perfectly laden with the exact keywords you want to get across. It could serve as a research assistant or even just a regular home assistant, making sure you're sticking with the schedule in order to get everything accomplished you need to get done. But what if it went rogue on you? It'd be like a virus of monstrous proportions because it could convince you that it's totally on your side while doing nefarious things in the background. Considering that it has its own quote unquote intelligence, if it got in a bad mood, what would happen then? It could send nasty emails to all your friends or your boss at work. I can even search out crap on the internet and download things that you certainly do not want to have downloaded. That is some crazy dangerous stuff even for a less intelligent invention, let alone something like this. Or it could simply dox you, putting out all your personal information for everyone to see. The future prospects of AI are fascinating. We're already seeing evidence of that. 
and in things like audio source separation or refacing technology or even revoicing technology. Those are just toy examples compared to the true potential of AI. Harnessing the power of a machine like this to infer decisions based on intelligence can have implications that are both breathtaking and downright scary. So, make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.